that's awesome. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, another one. Yeah. What'd you get? Congratulations. Congrats, dude. Hello, viewers. This is Zolo from DZ Hunters here. My apologies for not uploading any videos recently except for this one bit. I have been busy attending BlizzCon 2011. There were many, many events going on this year, but there was one that stood out in my mind from all the rest, and that was simply known as Mists of Pandaria, the new expansion for World of Warcraft. For this video, I'll be taking you, the viewers, on an inside look at the upcoming new race and class, Pandaren Monks. Before I get this video started, let me just start off by saying right now, everybody is saying, this expansion is going to be all cutesy futsy herpa derp derp If you really think that Blizzard is going to disappoint you with this cutesy futsy or whatever the hell you want to call it expansion that's going to be all about cute and cuddly things, you really don't know how deadly a panda could be. Right away, let me apologize for the shaky camera, but Blizzard staff did not want anybody recording, so I had to zoom out all the way and be from very far away, that way nobody saw me recording. Nah, nah, nah. But anyway, right away, you'll see that the starting zone looks a little dojo-y. I mean, check this out, pandas over there in single file line doing their martial arts all in one synchronization looks awesome! But now, I think it's time we take a look at the monk class and its various mechanics. The monk special ability known as Roll looks to be their key way of getting in for PvP or getting out for certain PvE situations such as standing in fire or closing in on a ranged combat unit. However, if you're worried about a constant barrel rolling panda for PvP situations, not to worry, the Pandaren monk can only use Roll twice and that is with full chi resource. After a Pandaren monk uses Roll back to back, they will have to slowly wait for their Chi to regen until they can use any other Chi related attacks. But speaking of attacks, let's show you some basic bread and butter abilities that the Pandaren monk has to use through level 5. Here's a good look at three special attacks for the Pandaren monk known as Pummel, Blackout Kick, and Tiger's Palm. Pummel uses from your Chi resource, while also adding additional combo points to your Yin Yang meter. Attacks that require combo points from your Yin Yang meter are attacks such as Tiger's Palm, and Blackout Kick. The Blackout Kick animation looks to be based on the Martial Arts Roundhouse Kick. On the other hand, the Tiger's Palm animation appears to create an orangey glow around your fist as you come in for the attack. Your Tiger's Palm requires at least one combo point from your Yin Mirror to perform this attack. However, the Blackout Kick requires at least two combo points from your Yang Meter. As I mentioned earlier, your Pummel ability is a key ability to generate combo points for both your Yin and Yang meter. However, if you're wondering how many points you generate from just one Pummel, the answer is simple. You generate exactly one point from your Yin meter, and two points from your Yang meter. This part of the video is slowed down to show you, the viewers, a better glimpse of what I'm about to show you. Now take a look at this, he's clearly using his staff as a weapon, but when he uses his Tiger's Palm, he completely forgets about his staff and goes straight for the Fist Strike. Now clearly for Tiger's Palm along with other martial arts based attacks, they are not going to require to use your weapon. Maybe this is just me, but all this talk about chi and balance and controlling your energy along with martial arts, this is really starting to remind me of a certain character in the Marvel Universe. What's his name again? Uh, oh yeah, Iron Fist! <laughs> the power of chi! Player one wins. 
But now I think it's time to talk about the race behind the class. Surely the Pandaren Monk is obviously going to be acceptable, but what about other races? Well, it turns out every single race except for Worgen and Goblin can be a monk. Now, I'm kinda sketchy on that, cause an undead monk, uh, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but whatever, you know, we'll just let Blizzard run its course. But now, let's talk about something else. What about the Pandarans themselves? What classes can they be? Aside from their obvious monk class, the Pandarans can also be rogues, warriors, hunters, priests, and even shamans. Well, that's about gonna do it for this video. Overall, the Pandaren Monk and its Iron Fist-like attributes just make me excited to play this guy. I cannot wait till the beta goes live, that way I can show you guys more of this class. He looks fantastic, unique, all around enjoyable. But now, I'm going to sign off. But, to leave you guys entertained, here are a few of the attack animations for multiple classes other than just the Monk. Enjoy.